die cutting essentials. This is issue number 95. It just hit our loading dock. And what is great about these magazines is that you also get some fun things with them. This time, not only do you get the die cut, but you also get some coordinating stamps. So that's always a bonus. So let me show you some things that caught my eye in the magazine. I've tabbed them just to be able to share them with you quite quickly. <clears throat> and here is, um, this is nice to have. So there's some step-by-steps of how you might dot, use your cutting die and your stamps. You can see that the stamps are going to fit in the cutting die just perfectly. So there's that banner and uh, you can use the cutting die. There is a little Merry Christmas that fits in there, but there are also some other uh, greetings that will also fit into that space. So that's good to know as you get started. And here are some greetings. And I was surprised at how many different looks you can get. Shaker cards are a natural for this, as well as some other looks. And so that was nice. So you're going to get some step-by-step -step instructions and that's going to be very helpful. You can also die cut the pieces multiple times. And so that's a good thing to be able to see. And I like having that. It's also nice to get the step-by-step -step photos. I appreciate that. And again, you're going to get it with some different looks and you can die cut them multiple times and get those looks. This is a, a, a nice thing to have, I think. You can get another look with um, whether or not you're going to use these particular dies is kind of beside the point, but it's nice to get the, the look. These are pop-ups. So you're going to use your cutting die and do multiple times, and then you fold them together. And so this is going to share with you so you can see really useful on ovals or circles, maybe stars or snowflakes even poinsettias, so step-by-step uh, -step photos, you can see how to do that, and that's a fun thing, especially this time of year. So let me come to my next tab, and this I thought was very fun. I thought that was just absolutely charming. Whether you do it as a slimline card or as they've done it here to go onto a wine bottle, I just thought it was absolutely charming and a fun idea, so you can certainly lift that for your own use. This is again using the cutting die, this time just taking the pieces and putting it on a card flat. I thought that was a great idea. And again, you can see how using it in a circle card or on a square card or a regular uh, rectangular cards, you can certainly use it there. So giving you lots of options and even more by changing the colors of using them. And I like that too. It's always nice to see those examples and, um, and then to take which ones you like and to share that all on your own. Let me get these separated. Here we go. I thought this was really pretty. And again, whether or not you're using these specific dies is kind of beside the point. It's a good technique to see. And um, this is using watercolor mediums with embossing folders. And I thought that was just a really pretty idea. And this is just, of course, I love jewel tones. So this really did catch my eye. And um, I would recommend taking a look at it. <clears throat> Here is floral frames. Now, um, I thought it was really neat to take a flower, and I'm sure you have them in your um, toolkit, and having them going from the edge of the card going in. And I thought that looked really good. And I love the colors that they use. So they're giving you several examples. And I thought that was really worth taking a look at. And I liked it in a heart, in a star, in a circle, in a square. So that was fun to share. And some close-ups of those same. And then here's some step-by-step. -step. So that was nice. And we have more of using the cutting die that's included. Again, separating it. I think doing them on tags is a really great thing this season. Making it into ornaments was a great idea. And I think that it just becomes very, very useful beyond what you might think by just looking at that cutting die. Here we have more. And I thought they were just fun, again, using them as tags as ornaments and maybe putting a light behind them. I thought that was really fun. Putting vellum behind them, very, very nice. So it becomes very useful and very fun. So this is Die Cutting Essentials number 95, exclusively here at paperwishes.com.